most of you guys know I'm kind of a gadget guy. So when it comes to electronics or something electronic or lights or LEDs and shit like that, you know, I'm kind of interested in it. As you can tell with the kick guitars I've been building that, you know, accent lighting and shit like that. Now, um, years ago when I was into the uh, custom car stuff, neon lights was one of the biggest things that uh, they would do underglow kits or interior kits and shit like that. Or um, after quite a few years they start getting into the LEDs now TVs started coming out with uh, an LED system that was backlit so every time uh, a different picture would come up on your screen and the main color was a blue or a green or something your wall behind the TV would light up that color now I've been eyeballing kits like that for a while and I've been waiting for those kits to kind of come down in prices and see what you know what they're all about now today I had to go pick up my wife from work and I walked down the gadget aisle with electronics antennas you know digital antennas for TVs and brackets for wall hanging you know hanging TVs on a wall and shit like that and I came across these which is a accent lighting kit that you would put behind your TV and it is the length of these strips. It's two strips that this comes with. They're 19.7 inches long or 50 centimeters long. Um, it also comes with a remote control. So you can basically have this any color that you would want to have it. And the way it gets its power is through the USB off the back of your TV or the side of your TV. Now, a lot of these newer TVs have uh, USB ports on them for firmware updating or some type of multimedia so you could play, watch Video, different videos or uh, pictures will go across your TV screen. Now, instead of getting one, I got two. Now, kind of cool. I already got one unboxed. You have a small power supply with a cable that is also removable. They have 3M double face tape on the back of it so you can mount this on the back of your TV and then plug this into the USB. Now, I'm using the USB power off of my laptop. So it's telling me it's like 5 volts and stuff, which this is about 5 volts. There also is a little infrared sensor right here that uh, has a little wire on it. I didn't unravel it uh, for the remote control that this comes with. Now, as you can see on the remote control, you could basically have any color that you want as far as a uh, your display goes or lighting display. Now, they use 3M double face tape on the back of these, and they are multicolored LEDs. Okay, they're very small, high intensity. Now, I'm going to turn this on. Right now, I have it on red. And you can also, if it's too bright, you can also dumb it down. Or put it back on full blast the way I like it. Now, this does have different effects. So, you can have a smooth, a fade which it fades from one color to another color. A strobe, which still kind of reminds me of a fade, fade or flash. Now it's Christmas time. Or you can have it light up. You have different shades of blue, different shades of green all the way to blue, and you have red to yellow. So you have a lot of different shades of color here. So you can either have it, uh, this is my blue. I'm changing the colors right now and this is all the way to a purple green and there's different shades of green into blue or red with different shades of red to orange to yellow now it's kind of cool and I figured that uh, you know what this would be kind of interesting on the back of boy don't look into them they're kind of bright uh, this would look pretty cool on the back of you now right now I have a fluorescent tube a short one just a small white bar that uh, as in the back of the TV, it kind of glows up on the wall. You know, just adds a little bit more lighting to the room. Now that's coming out, and I'm putting these puppies back there. Now I also thought about this as well for something else, incorporating this into a guitar kit. They are five volts, so battery operated. Ain't gonna be that big of a deal. Uh, it's just that the wiring is quite a bit of wiring that they give you with this and mounting, finding some place to put the actual control box and making it remotable to where you can change it to any color that you want on your body of your guitar. Which I think would be kind of interesting, kind of cool. At least I hope so. And uh, you know me when it comes to this shit. I mean, fucking, I've been putting lights on everything. So, 
These are also, you're able to cut them. There are marks, markers here where you can cut these strips down to whatever size that you want or length that you need. Um, you also can rewire the end. If you strip this up, you can rewire the end and you can add more wiring to it and maybe possibly put more LEDs on it. I just dropped the box. So, with that being said, I'm out of here. Nature calls. So, I gotta go answer it. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.